Yeah, good day guys. Welcome back to the Cographic Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Right now, I want to show you how you can make an Instagram post banner on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn a trick so now you can use a shadow very well like a pro. Without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So the first thing to do is to set up our background size so i want to use it 19 by 1024 and it will look exactly like this then go to the color then you make your choice of the color so i want to use a black color just like exactly like this then the next thing i'm going to do after that has been set or i can decide that to use a white so using a white could be the best for this and then i will use a black along the line so in doing that I will have a circle, turn it to, then choose a black color, then I will have something like this, and uh, reduce the size, and uh, you bring it down a little bit. If possible, bring it in just as perfect as this. Don't let it be too much, just to form the kind of a shape you want it to form. And I guess this is cool anyway. You can bring it in as well, just to make awesome so after that has been done then you can position this to the center by centralize it then uh, you look at it whether the space at the bottom is okay as a desire then when that has been done you make sure you lock the whole stuff then adding back to the text area then you have any text you want so like for instance i want my want to be time then i will go into the font i want to use a font called morganite and this is how the morganite look like for me to be able to see clearly you go back to the color then you make it to be something white remember the background is uh, black okay after that has been done then the next thing we need to do is to position this here and uh, you have a little space in between it just as perfect as this don't let it be too much then re centralize it to the center when you are able to do this then before we make up our tricks you have to add him back to your gallery get into the gallery then we'll bring in this particular clock image then position this here will be best then you centralize it very good now have it lock as well including the time then the next thing we need to do after we are able to make this one real we have to unlock the text then we increase the size a little bit don't forget as you increase the size you have to reduce the space in between because it will automatically have the space then you can now recentralize to the center again after that has been done you can now go to the text area I mean to the test just click on it and you enable your mask so when you enable your mask what you will need to do is that don't click on anything yet but make it straight just as perfect as this so you can make it calm just like this okay shift it up a little bit don't let it touch anything then bring this one down just as perfect as this okay shift this one up calm down okay good 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 it's okay very good now you can enable after enable it copy then you go back to the mask click out for you to see the other part now do it gently by make it together again manually remember you have cut it out just exercise patient to make sure that uh, you manually adjust it without strikes. Now you can see I'm able to adjust. You can now lock it. Click on the first one. Now apply shadow. When you apply shadow, the next thing you need to do is to tap on the plus sign. Just make it increase it a little bit, just as this. After that has been done, what you are going to do is to bring this one to the top. Then you can see what I'm doing, right? Then go back to the shadow increase the blur radius a bit when you are able to do that click the offset when you click the offset increase the blur radius 
okay which means we are uh, make a mistake along the line so i will turn off it then delete sorry delete this then i will re i will re set it to make sure remember just look at this just because of that mistake now click on it again and you follow the previous process now arrange it manually manually okay very good so this is cool anyway so what we are going to do is to follow the previous process doing so after that we need to go back to our schedule enable the schedule not to this bring this one up lock this tap on it and you apply it okay cool click on the outer glow and you bring down the offset y a little bit make your radius to be increased okay and this is cool right so we can decide to make this one to go like this but not much anyway okay this is cool not much our blur radius should be reduced a bit okay perfect increase your shadow now tap on these to make it a look awesome okay reduce this a bit so perfect perfect you can make it to be 45 now what we need to do next is to bring in the clock to the top now you can see the tricks you can imagine this now the next thing we need to do is to put in our text so i want to put in the text which goes like this the great dividing line between success and failure can be expressed in five words I don't have time this is amazing now I need to look at the better font for this or maintaining the font I want to use right now so after that just make sure you centralize after centralize increase it a bit okay if possible go to the stroke could be the best at this juncture to make it okay so I'm adding back to my stroke just tap on the boat Okay, sorry let's go to the stroke enable the stroke just like this and make it to be something like one but i'm thinking when you make it to be one it's not even helpful so what about if you board it it's more or less the same thing anyway but uh that is not really encouraging okay so the next thing we need to do after I position this very well so we need to make a little breathing space in between the text. So by make your line spacing to be two, just the way we normally make it whenever we are working on our web, um, our uh, word document. So after that has been done, without wasting much of our time, we are not drawing anything. We just need to uh, bring in. Uh, the social media and I can have a position just as perfect as this then you go in and make sure that you lock everything but before that let's finish our work on the text area so I want to just uh, I don't have time words I want to give it an hierarchy so I will just select just that then I will go into the my own image looking at the clock the clock has something amazing which I need to tap from so I'm tapping from this, then uh, I will make it uh, like this, so that it will look awesome. Then after that, I will try to as much as possible to copy the text. Copy the text, then I will put in my name there. So we have a uh, Dico graphics. And that is all my social media and Dico graphics. Okay. Graphics. So having that, then I can quickly position that here, the cool graphics, and then increase the size a little bit to make it awesome. So I'm thinking of uh, using something different to make it uh, look okay. 
So looking at uh, Inventica, so looking if you want to call Inventica boot, I'm thinking should be the best for this. And uh, if it doesn't be the best, we can look at uh, Asin. We have the font called an Asin boot. So this could be the best, but I'm thinking it might be too bold. So we kind of is a uh, sleeping font I can use to make this uh, look okay. So let's look at um, Multizera. Multizera could be the best as well. So let's see. Multizera. Okay. But not something bold like that. So let me go for the bold one. Okay. Copy this. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, very cool. Then uh, we make the color more. Uh, we we'll make it uh, more okay. So make sure that uh, you have this one closed. Make it sure that you have it closed. Then uh, we are going to merge the two together and position it to the center. So you can adjust that one manually. Have it done manually could be the best okay perfect then you shift it up a little bit uh, possible all this uh, you can adjust this anywhere so let me adjust and you reposition after the adjustment Then after that, you just set this to make sure that uh, it go in line with it. Perfect. So now everything seems cool, right? But we still need we need to, and this is what can differentiate you between uh, uh you and a uh, newbie. There are some things you can still add to these, like uh, Maggie. If you are making the soup, you know you need to make it sweet. So to make this thing sweeter. You need to add some things to make it uh, look real. So I'm looking for something to add anyway to make it uh, look awesome. So what are those things I can see had? So let's take for instance, I need this. So I want to add this to make it uh, look real. And how will I uh, make that? So I just want that one to be around here. Then let me give it the color for you to be able to see. So, giving this one black could be the best. Or uh, I turn it upside down to make it uh, look awesome. Okay, perfect, perfect. So this will still give it a kind of a uh, uh, communication that will that will be okay. Okay. So position that here. Now, very cool. Now, other things can we still have that? I have much things to add. To make it uh, look awesome so take it for instance we have something like this which i need to add to make it cool together with kind of a background i'm using okay and this is just a wing vein something very cool then you send this to the back remember that's the sense of using white background and this is amazing this is amazing time for watching i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you make sure you save your work with ultra then you save as png thanks once again